Hello coders, in this video I am going to explain you how we can add new column or columns to existing pandas data frame. There are multiple ways. So now let's get started. So first I will explain using python list, then pandas series, then python dictionary, then how to insert the column at particular position, then how we can add the column from existing column or columns to pandas data frame, then using assign method of pandas data frame. So now let's get started. So now here you can see I have created this data frame df1 using this python dictionary that you can find in the description below if you want to work with the same that I am using. So now you can see our data frame having two columns name and marks and seven rows with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now let me first add column using python list. Now you can see here I have created this python list with grades that you can find in the description below. So now let me first display our data frame. Then let I copy this python list. Let I assign it to the variable list1. Now you can see the python list. Now let I add the column. Now you can see our data frame. Now let we add new column with name grades with grades now let we assign list one to this grades now let i display the data frame now you can see new column is added over here with help of python list now let i drop that particular column so for that you can see our data frame we have to write df1 dot drop then our column name which is grades that you can see over here and we have to mention the axis axis is equal to 1 for the column and axis is equal to 0 for row and we have to make this in place parameter to true to remove it permanently from our data frame. Now let I display our data frame. So now let I execute this all one more time. Now you can see our column is removed. So this way you can remove the column or columns from our data frame. If multiple columns then we here we have to pass the list. For example, I want to remove the grades column and the marks column. So now here you can write marks comma grades in list. Now let I again execute this cells. Now you can see our marks and grade columns are removed from our data frame. Next how to add the column to pandas data frame using pandas series. So now first let I create the series with s1 is equal to pd dot series that I am going to create from this python list. So let I copy it and paste it over here. Now you can see pandas series is created. Now let I copy our data frame. So it will not affect the above operations. So now you can see. Now let I add new column with name grades to this data frame. So df1 grades is equal to s1 which is our pandas series that you can see over here. Now let I display it. Now you can see new column is added over here. Third way using python dictionary. So again let I copy our original data frame over here. Now you can see our data frame. Now here I have created python dictionary that you can find in the description below. With city name and name. With city name and name that you can see key value key and value likewise. So here total key value pairs are 7 as per our number of rows that you can see over here otherwise it will generate the error so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 because total we are having 7 rows so now let we add the column with city df1 city is equal to d now let i display this now you can see new column is added to our existing pandas data frame with name city with help of python dictionary. Now fourth way let me insert our column to the particular position. So now here you can see here we have added the column using python list that you can see 
it is added at the end same with panda series which is added again at the end that you can see over here same with the python dictionary which is added new column city at the end but now i want to insert the column at particular position so now let i copy once again our original data frame that you can see over here now let me insert the column at particular position for that we have to write df1 dot insert i want to insert at second position with name grades and i require to provide the data from s1 that our panda series we are providing the data so let i copy and paste that particular series over here now you can see i want to add this new column at second position any position that you can write with name grades and this is our data s1 now you can see over here let i execute this cell now you can check the df1 that you can see new column is added with grades using insert method next adding the column or columns from the existing columns of the data frame let i display our data frame now i want to create or i want to add new column with name and grades which is already there but i want to combine name and grades column and i want to add new column over here with name name underscore grades so now here my new column name name underscore grades df1 name which is our first column plus let i make the space in between then df1 then grades which is our last column now let i display our data frame that you can see new column is added with name underscore grades which is combination of name plus grade also you can write here any separator like comma that you can see over here priyank comma a name comma grades so we can add new column with existing columns to the pandas data frame like this final method using assign so now again let i copy our original data frame also let i copy our panda series so please remember assign method will create new data frame with new column added to the old data frame so please remember this assign method will create a new data frame with new column added to the old data frame so now let i show you this so df1 dot assign then i want to add new column with grades with this above series s1 now you can see over here also you can assign to this df2 then you can see over here df2 so please remember assign method will create a new data frame with new column added to the old data frame that you can see new data frame df2 is created with this column which is newly added which is grades now here you can assign multiple columns as well now let i create another series with pd dot series with like i am randomly typing some numbers so here require total 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that let i add it as a temp temporary folder or temporary column let i add as a temporary column with s2 that you can see we can add multiple columns using assign method in this way which is grades which is our column name and data column name and data that you can see over here i want to add you can see our data frame df1 now i want to add plus one to all the marks over here that we can easily perform with assign you can see assign then i want to add new column let i write the column marks one then here you can write lambda function lambda also we can do without lambda function with direct method that i will show you shortly so lambda x dot x dot marks plus one that you can see over here so new column is added with plus one that you can see over here now without using lambda function that we can write like this df1 dot assign then our column name 
that I write max 2 is equal to df then our original column max this one max plus 1 or plus 2 df1 now you can see max 2 column is added with original max plus 2 with this direct method so now you can see the importance of assign method now let i show you the different example so df1 dot assign so in the doc string some of the nice examples are given that you can see over here so assign new columns to a data frame now you can see at the end let i copy this data frame over here so let i remove this extra dots now you can see df with temperature of these two cities now again df1 dot assign that you can see over here again i let i take this now you can see where the value is callable like this so now you can see here temperature in celsius given if you want to convert into fahrenheit then you can use this lambda function with this well known equation now you can see our data frame temperature underscore f is added using this lambda function also we can do without this lambda function now let i copy the direct method so here you can see alternatively the same behavior can be achieved by directly referencing an existing series or a sequence that you can see over here with the direct method so now let i copy it over here and for the safe side let i copy our data frame as well now you can see new column is added with temp underscore f using this direct method you can see over here this temp underscore f which is our column name df temp underscore c which is our existing column in that you can perform any operation here celsius to fahrenheit that you can see over here new column is added so this way you can add and remove column or columns from the pandas data frame thank you thank you for watching